Hey, how you doing? This is Diesel with Jeep Style. These nuts in the house. And uh, we got a fun little job here, and it has nothing to do with suspension or the flex ramp. Nope, it has to do with the uh, chick with a dick. That's right, it has to do with the tranny. So, with that said, um, this is a 42RLE. It's a common transmission in a TJ, an LJ, and the um, um, number one problem, I'm saying that, I might be pulling it out of my ass, but like all the work that I do, it's um, a pretty big problem is this uh, valve block. So a lot of transmission shops, um, will you'll get a code of this valve block and your tranny has several codes associated with it and your tranny will go into the uh, limp mode. What limp mode is, is basically your transmission goes into second gear. So it takes off slow and it's probably not gonna go over you know 30 miles an hour. It's, it's not gonna ship, it's gonna stay in second gear. Um, and you take it to a training shop or a, um, a automotive repair shop and they're gonna wanna take the transmission out and replace it and that's gonna get expensive. So if you do have some mechanical ability and you run the codes and it's any kind of a shifter code, incorrect um, uh, gear ratio code or um, uh, something that might uh, be associated with the uh, valve block, go ahead and take the pan off. Take the pan off and um, inspect it. You know, if it's clean, you know, this pan is super clean. There is absolute zero signs of internal transmission breakage or internal transmission wear as far as your clutches um, starting to give out. You know, the fluid looked good. It didn't look burnt. Um, you can see the transmission super clean. Um, no issues. So we go to replace this block. The reason why um, a lot of people don't replace this block is because if you go to your local parts house, it really seems I've had to replace this block a couple times. Um, a customer of mine is a great Jeeper and you can reach out to him, his name's Chuck Green. So that's the last one I did and I'm, I told him it was this because he was thinking he's gonna need a transmission. So we changed it a couple days later, it started doing the same thing. He's like, Diesel, man, I think we need a transmission. I'm like, no. We need to put another one of those valve body valve blocks in there, and um, of course, you kind of get a little suspicious. Suspicious. That's those S words, I think. Suspicious, suspific, spiffy, rific. Anyways, um, but it worked. It worked, and it's been working for like two years now. And it, I mean, it's a lot better um, for an under a thousand dollar repair than. You know, putting a remanufactured unit in it, which could run up, you know, twenty-five to four thousand um, dollars for the repair. When this was the only thing wrong with it. So um, one uh, limp mode is the way your transmission protects itself. It goes into second gear, so it really makes it so it's hard to drive it anywhere, so you can go get it looked at. Um, the second thing is the check engine light. Check the check engine light, and if it, um, and you can Google the information or actual look at the code and it will tell you if this um, could be the culprit. If it is, um, you already have the pan off, um, dropping the valve body is really not that difficult. Um, you just gotta take your time. There's two connectors on each side. Um, that you have to release and the big thing is the shifter you have to it's a 12 millimeter socket or I'm sorry 13 millimeter socket or a half inch you need to take the shifter linkage off and you need to spin this all the way down to low gear because um, if you don't it's not gonna want to come out the the shifter here is gonna get caught up there and it's not gonna want to come down so two connectors, shift it in the low range, and then you take all the bolts out that are use of that mysterious 10 millimeter socket. Um, so we're gonna get those off after we remove the filter, um, a little bit of pressure on the pry bar, and that whole unit will drop down. Um, once we get it down, there are a couple Torx heads bolts that are going to hold this in. 
we're going to take that off and basically that comes off the new one pops on um, and it really is um, a job that you could do at home you just have to be patient it's fairly easy um, you just have to be patient and, and don't um, get aggressive with anything especially the connectors and this shifter um, so that's it so um, yeah a couple of little cool things and you know we're not just uh, cutting crap and welding stuff back on we're actually a, a, a full blown uh, Jeep shop where we do rear end gears front end transfer cases um, we do uh, transmission repairs um, we do put certified remanufactured units in it if the the actual transmission is bad we don't actually rebuild them here but uh, check engine lights water pumps so this is a full service garage here at stacked off-road this is diesel just uh, you know helping out my jeepers out there save a little money and not waste money so this is transmission um, little shifter block video I hope you enjoyed it all right